up machine guns. If you're trapped in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Not subtle or quiet, but... For long-range encounters, the assault rifle's the key. It's accurate, powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. That's it. Take the ladder, head up and back. All done. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. Darcy? Who the hell is that? Our tech instructor. Very insecure. Well, how's he doing? Not well. He's distracted. Why? As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. In case he saw you as a challenge for my... Affections. It's like a cage match with you boys. Am I? A challenge, I mean. If you have to ask, Thornton, then there's your answer. All right, let's see here. I think you might still be feeling the effects of the drugs. It's definitely affecting your aim. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. I'll pass. Very well. I'll log your score. I'll have the results sent to your handler. And Westridge can give the rest of your evaluation, provided you've completed the other tests. This is a restricted area. The vending machines are down the hall and to the right. I'm here for espionage training. Westridge's new recruit. Good. There's no time to waste. So, orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume? Yes. Excellent. And I don't need to explain. Up the ladder is the training area. The first test is navigating through the environment without being detected. Following that, you'll be facing live challenges against the agents here. All right, I'm on my way. Hope this course is ready, because I'm not taking any prisoners. Fine. Sooner you're through, sooner we can both get back to work. What's the deal with the security panel? It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westridge says, then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the course. Clock's ticking. Great. Now, hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Always check your surroundings for cameras. We can't have you appearing on the nightly news. Mind the gap. The key to stealth is timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots.
the view. Yeah, well, I doubt the view is what's making you hesitate. I've unlocked the security door. Come back to the control room for your evaluation. Your score is based on several factors. Sorting the numbers now. Very good. Above average performance for a trainee. Okay. You want to run it again? No, I don't think so. Very well, I'll log the results. Westridge can complete your evaluation once you've finished the other tests. Anything else you could share that might help me out? I feel like I've already got the basics down. Was there anything else? What do you actually do here? My primary role is intelligence analysis. But at times, I serve as a handler during sensitive missions. So you've been on a lot of Alpha Protocol Ops? Key ones, yes. I was involved in the events leading up to your assignment, in fact. How? I took on the role of a contractor, an accountant. Money is one of the easiest ways to track events. It often leaves the best fingerprints. So you're a spy? Mm, I'm an observer. I rarely take action. But the smallest event, if analyzed incorrectly or acted on improperly, could have great repercussions. And that's where I come in. To interpret events. Like butterfly wings sparking a tornado? That kind of thing? Spare me the butterfly cliché. Guerrilla actions, nuclear tests, exposing a corrupt politician, a rise in grain prices, and... Yes, the downing of an airliner in the Middle East. All of these things have the potential to create larger catastrophes. Okay. Controlling the repercussions of these events, getting agents the information they need to put fires out before they rage out of control, that is my job. So, what, you're like a political fortune teller? I thought economists had the market cornered. Yes, it's a numbers game. But decisions must be made quickly. If the decisions are solely reactive or passive, well, then you operate at a disadvantage. So sometimes you create events. For political equilibrium, yes, at times. At other times, to give America an economic advantage. I thought we were mostly mission-driven. We are. But even you will see the effect that even seemingly minor interactions have on the structure of a mission. Carry the logic one step up, and it shouldn't be hard for you to grasp. You like working here? My responsibilities don't account for that, nor should they. You know, I actually thought you were the janitor when I arrived. That would either be an insult or an excellent deduction. I'm guessing the former. I was actually just trying to make conversation. But why would that be an excellent deduction? Because, Agent, Alpha Protocol can only maintain plausible deniability as long as no one knows we exist. That means continually cleaning and scouring data, masking our communication lines, and protecting our global positioning. I understand. That must be a full-time task, and an important one. Agreed. Even Westridge would say I hold the most important post in the facility. So, in short, yes. I clean up after others, and if necessary, I'm the one tasked with shutting this program down. Shutting it down? Turning off the lights, putting up the chairs, locking the door. What does that mean, exactly? This place cannot be found. If Alpha Protocol is compromised, any evidence of the program must be deleted. But what happens to the... I mean, is there an escape route, or... What happens? What do you mean, Agent? Be specific. I dislike dancing around an issue if one exists. What happens to the people? Expendable. Are you serious? You are serious. You sound like you've done this before. If I have, it's classified. Or perhaps I'm joking. Are we done here, Agent? I think I've answered all your questions. Some of them, yeah. The others can wait.